talked a couple days ago you said uh, this team simply had to do its job had to go win you won tonight and in a lot of ways in convincing fashion you got a terrific job out of uh, uh, Taylor Robinson you got top of the lineup produced for you uh, your analysis well I mean Taylor Robinson getting out of that bases loaded jam in the first inning they hit a couple flares dumped a few balls in bases loaded no outs and to get out of that with just one run that's a, that's a win even though they scored a run we won that inning and then to come back and score uh, get that run back immediately uh, I thought showed a lot and um, the, you know the top of the order really really swung the bats well um, we put the balls in play and there, there weren't a lot of soft outs even our outs were hard we were on top of the baseball a lot of line drives and uh, like I said to you the other day hitting's contagious and when you get a few to come, you know, you have a few good at bats, you know, everybody seems to get locked in. I was going to say, Robinson, 136 pitches. Uh, it probably wasn't his best performance, but maybe it was as much heart and soul as you can put into a pitching performance. Well, he's a senior. He's a senior. It might, could be his last game. We hope not. But, uh, you yeah, know, he wanted it bad. And he scattered, you know, one run. He kept it to one run per inning. Uh, that, that When they scored, they only got one, and that was big. And, um, you know, he didn't let some plays behind him affect him. But uh, I thought you know, when he needed to make pitches, he made the pitches that he needed to make, just like a senior does. I also thought when he's, he's had his most effective when he simply allows hitters to get themselves out. He's not a guy that, that re, you know, rears back and blows people away. No, he pitches the contact pretty good, but uh, when he has that change of work, and he's awful tough to hit, and then that two-seam fastball really moves a lot, and the strikeouts he got were on the inner half of the plate and tied guys up, because that, that ball moves six, eight inches. And, uh, but he kept the ball down in the zone, besides a couple, you know, a couple pitches got up there late, but uh, he was just tremendous tonight. Top third of the lineup, uh, DeGroote, Consul Magno, and, and Katsarubas combined for 10 hits, four runs scored, four driven in. They really powered the offense. They did, you know, and Jeff DeGroote starts swinging the bat the way he's capable of, and uh, he's the catalyst at the top, but uh, he was a home run shy of the cycle tonight. But uh, had a couple big hits that tripled down the line that answered back after they scored a run. I thought getting that run immediately back was big to keep the momentum on our side. But, uh, you know, Joe Consul Magno just continues to do what he does. He has tremendous at-bats. There's no easy out out for him. He's, it's very rare when he sees three pitches and he's done. He sees a lot of pitches, puts the ball in play, and then Katsurubis is as good a run producer as there is in the league. I was going to say about Council Magno again, he just battles. Every bat is as if he's going to war. Yeah, he's he's a grinder. He just grinds. Everything uh, is 100% with him. And uh, you know when he gets into that box, no matter what's happened previously, he's going to have a tremendous AB and give you his best effort. And that's all you can ask, especially out of a freshman. I was going to say also, I wanted to go back a little bit to, to Robinson. Eighth inning, he got the last out on a strikeout. He'd given up a run in the inning. I think he was at 130 pitches. And I kind of said, okay, I think he's probably done. Did you, talk, did you think about taking him out after eight? 
Well, I, I wanted to talk to him. I said to uh, Timmy Bonehill, our pitching coach, I said, Don't, we're not making any decisions until I talk to him. When I went out there, I said, how do you feel? He goes, I want this. You know, being a senior, maybe his last outing on this mound, I wanted him to have the opportunity to finish that game, and he deserved that. All right, Coach, thank you. Right, thank yeah, 136 pitch complete game outing. To me, and I don't, I don't think you claim this is the best you've ever pitched, but, but to me, watching you, it's like you're going to war out there. You're going to battle everybody, every pitch of the way. Yeah, well, uh, coming into this game, I knew it was a must win. Um, I let up a run first inning, and the guys answered back, and it's a lot easier to pitch with a lead. So just ran with it. Eighth inning, they got a run, but you finished the inning off with a strikeout. I think it was your 130th pitch of the ball game. Any thought that, that you wouldn't be out there? For the ninth, or you, as far as you're concerned, in, darn it, you're pitching a complete game. Coming in, I wasn't. I saw Coach Herring walking to me as I headed in the dugout after the guys were picking me up, and I was like, "This is going to be it, last inning." And uh, he came up to me and he said, "Do you want it?" And I said, "Obviously." So, what was working for you tonight? Everything. Um, for the first time all season, my curveball was actually working. I might have only thrown it four or five times, but just those four or five times were huge, and it made the batters think about an extra pitch. So my changeup was working, my two seam was running, and I was piling up my four seam. So when you have all that, all they can really do is flare singles like you saw. That's all that happened. Now you pitched to contact. I mean, there might be a couple of occasions that you look for the strikeout, but my gut watching you is that you're going out there in effect saying, I'll let the hitter get himself out. Yeah, well... But the defense and Rooney at shortstop who's playing well and Katz playing a good third base and Sanchez coming in from the outfield and playing a solid second base, it's just everything's working right now. So all you got to do is throw to the hitter and let the feelers play. All right, and you're hoping this isn't your last pitching performance. Absolutely not. All right, thank I've you. asked you in the past, and I said, I want to just, how do you approach an at-bat? I watch you from upstairs and I say, man, this guy is going to make the pitcher work. You battle every single uh, pitch. Yep. I like to sit for dead red, I see fastball, adjust curveball, and just fight off any of the pitches that I need to, spoil the pitches until I get good ones to hit. You got some good ones yes, to hit. Yes, I did. Do you go up there, do you change, do you adjust whether, whether you know, if Jeff's on base, do you approach it back differently or? Oh, definitely, yeah. If there's less than two outs with a guy on third, I'm going to try to pull the ball on the ground if the infield's back and get myself an RBI, pick up the team, and then uh, a lot of this game, they pounded me in, so I just take what I was given. I got to hit it to you. Just got to pull it, and that's what I did, pull it through the, uh, right through the first base hole. I was going to say, uh, number two spot in the order is not a position we think of as an RBI producing position, but you drove in a couple of nights. Yeah. Generally, I mean, you, do you look at yourself as, as a run producer? Um, not necessarily, but the bottom of our lineup's been getting on lately. Jake's been hitting the ball good. Cal got on, and Jeff's always he's always on. So, and he we have kids at the bottom of the lineup that can steal bags. So, once they get on, move runners, and then they're in scoring position. I just got to do what I got to do to get them in. I know sometimes I've come out here and this team struggled to get get a big hit in the clutch. Tonight it seemed contagious. Oh, I, I yeah. think we had 16 hits. I think yep. you, I think top three guys in the lineup combined for 10 hits. It seems that when one guy's hitting, everybody's yep, hitting. That's good. If we can get collectively 16 hits every game with our starting lineup and our starting pitching and our good defense, then we're going to be we're going to win a lot of games. All right, let's win a lot of games. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thanks.